Milwaukee police officers closely watched a harmless demonstration by a group of homosexuals at Civic Center Plaza recently. Police officers often keep gay people under close surveillance because gay people are different. The community relations specialist for the Police and Fire Commission offers this official opinion. We're just not ready to see two men kissing and palavering in a restaurant as a man might very well do with his girlfriend or his wife or with some girl he never saw before, so far as that goes. The state of Wisconsin has laws against the kind of behavior Bowen described, laws against lewd and lascivious behavior between single men and women as well as between two consenting homosexuals. But Bowen admits only gay men are arrested for violating those laws. Gay people who, who uh, hassle with this have to realize they're living too soon, <laughs> if you see what I'm talking about. In other words, they are, for whatever reason, they are stuck with selective law enforcement. Right. That's a fact of life for the gay person I in Milwaukee so. and in most places. I think most places. A young homosexual man named Dave learned about such selective law enforcement last summer. Dave learned about it from a stranger he met in the men's room at a local department store. And he stood at the bath, at the urinal, and he acted as if he was playing with himself. And he stood there for almost 10 minutes doing the same, you know, making same, same hand gestures. And uh, I was curious because nobody that wasn't interested would stand at a urinal that long. Dave says he left and the man followed him into the bathroom of another department store. Then I asked him where he was staying and he had told me the why. And I had said, well, I knew about the why. And then a few minutes, uh, a few seconds later, I just quite openly asked him if he was a vice cop. And he had said no. And I went to touch him. And as I touched him, he kind of laughed and said, ha ha, I am a vice cop. Attorney James Shello represents many gay men arrested under such circumstances. Shello says they are usually charged with disorderly conduct and won't fight it because they are more afraid of the publicity. Why did you plead guilty to a disorderly conduct charge? Why didn't you fight it? Because of my job. Because if at my job they would find out that I'm gay, I would be fired automatically. We asked Milwaukee police officials to answer Dave's story about his arrest and other allegations about police baiting. Chief Harold Breyer refused. Gay people can laugh, but their lives are serious and complicated. The subject of our next report. Jim Cummins, News 4.